Do you want to learn how to scan and print barcodes and QR codes in Microsoft Access? Would you like to learn how to create orders, invoices, and track inventory in and out? Introducing the Microsoft Access Barcoding and Inventory Seminar, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this seminar, you will learn everything you need to know about scanning and printing barcodes with Microsoft Access. You will also learn how to manage inventory with rentals, products, and individual unit serial numbers. We will cover basic customer management, order entry and invoicing, record set programming, managing rental inventory, scanning most barcodes, printing code 39 and QR code barcodes, tracking product inventory in and out, managing units with serial numbers, printing product and unit barcodes, and using a Dymo label maker. We will begin by setting up a new database, including many of the options that I prefer for my projects. Then I'll show you how to create a simple customer table, customer form, and customer list form. Next, we'll cover some of the advanced preferences that I use for all of my projects. I'll show you which of the access options I like to change including setting up a trusted location, confirming document deletions and action queries, and more. We will build an order entry form with the related tables and queries. We'll link it to our customer tables. Then we'll create a fully printable invoice report. I'll show you how to create an order list so you can see all of your orders sorted by date and double click on one to open it up. We'll copy the customer's address info to each order so you know where the order was shipped or billed at the time it was placed. We'll also create a product list so you can pick a product and add it to the order with one click. We are going to learn about a very powerful way to work with data directly in our tables using record sets. These are programming objects that we can use to read, write, add, delete, and manipulate data directly in VBA code without having to use SQL. We'll talk about what record sets are, why we want to use them, and we'll set up our first example. There's really no way around it. In order to work with inventory, you really need to learn record sets. I tried to build this database with just basic SQL, but the end results are clunky, slow, and not the best. But don't worry, I'll show you the basics and exactly what you need to get started. We will learn how to loop through the records in a table using a record set displaying whatever fields we want. This will be invaluable when we get to inventory. We will then add those items from the record set to an unbound value list list box. I'll also show you how to manually add and delete records from the list box as well. We will learn how to track rental inventory items. Let's say you have a store or a library that tracks items to get rented or borrowed and need to be checked in and out. You can assign them to a customer, track their rental history, know when they're late, and so on. This will give us a foundation on how to track products and manage them going into and out of inventory. We will add product codes to each item in our inventory. These can be UPC codes, product IDs, serial numbers, or whatever other type of data you wish to track each specific item with. You can pull up an item by typing in the code. We'll also create a big text box so you can type in a bunch of items at once and have access analyze the list and scan all of those items in in one batch. This is great for book returns and you don't want to take the time to pull up each book. Just enter in the whole list. This will become very useful when we learn how to scan in barcodes. Just scan in the returns one after the other and then analyze them all at once. Moving back to our order entry form, we will add quantity on hand to our product table and create a product history table so we can audit transactions. We will add is shipped to our order table to track whether or not an order has been shipped. If so, the order can no longer be edited. We'll lock it down. When the order is ready to be shipped, we'll click on the ship order button. The inventory will be checked to make sure we have enough product to ship the entire order. If so, we'll then remove the products from the inventory. Next we'll get to barcode scanning. We'll discuss the types of barcode scanners, the different types of barcodes, 1D and 2D barcode symbologies, using your cell phone as a barcode reader, creating a product table with a barcode field, 
creating a form to scan a barcode and look up a product. We'll learn how to scan a product and have it automatically added to our invoice. We'll also check to see if the product is already on the order, and if so, increment the value by one instead of adding lots of line items. We'll also learn how to scan a product and perform a Google search on it to display details. This is great for books or any product with a UPC barcode. Next, we will learn how to print barcode labels. We'll talk about the Code 39 barcode and why I prefer that for Microsoft Access databases. I'll show you how to install a free Code 39 barcode font. Then we'll see how to create custom barcode labels for our products and print them out. We will learn how to print multiple labels for the same product. So if you want to print 10 copies of the same label, it's easy to do. We'll create a button on our product form to create individual labels and then a button to clear the table once we've printed. Next, we will learn how to use the Google Charts API and the web browser control to display QR codes. QR codes are great for detailed product info, employee name badges, web page URLs, or anytime you want to display an image for someone to scan. They can even use their cell phones to get detailed information. We will learn how to download the QR code from the web and save it as a local file on our hard drives. This way, the information is stored with the database and you can print the image in a report. This way we can print employee name badges. We'll create a method to manually adjust inventory. This is useful when you receive product shipments from your vendors. Just scan the items in. We'll create a combo box where we can select either a lookup scan, remove from inventory, or add to inventory. We will then change the quantity on hand of the product scanned. We'll include logic to prevent negative inventory. We'll add tracking of individual unit serial numbers. We'll create a unit subform under the product form. This way you can track each of the individual items you have in stock, what their serial numbers are, and to whom they were sold. We'll create a barcode report for serial number labels and a button to mark them printed when finished. We'll add the ability to scan barcodes from products or serial numbers to our order form. If it's a serial number, then we cannot increment the quantity, so we'll have to add a new line item with the unique barcode. We'll check to see if this unit is already on another order and generate a warning if so. Then we'll put the barcodes on the printed invoices. That is all included in the Access Barcoding and Inventory Seminar. If you don't need the video instruction, you can also purchase the database by itself as a standalone template. You can find links and more information below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks, and keep learning.